no doubt, climate change will affect in a very negative way and probably profound as well, our health. How is that? Well, climate change will tackle the determinants of our health. We know that we need clean air, we need clean water, we need shelter, we need food. Those are the basic pillars for our health. If we don't have access to those four pillars, that will be a dramatic consequences on our health. And why climate change is causing that damage? Look at first the immediate impact in terms of natural disasters, heat waves, look at the floods, uh, storms or uh, droughts that is causing and the suffering that goes with that. Look as well at the fact that because of the climate and the, the, the warming conditions that we are facing now, some diseases transmitted by vectors like uh, mosquitoes will have better conditions to transmit. I'm thinking of malaria, on, on dengue, for instance, or other diseases which are very much climate sensitive, like a diarrhea, cholera, or other epidemic diarrheal diseases. But in addition to that, those are already very important consequences. In addition to that, we will have the long-term consequences of the fact that we will not be able to have agricultural production and therefore malnutrition. We will be affected by massive displacement of population who will be looking or, or abandoning places that are facing natural disasters or drought of lack of water. So all of that is a terrible uh, a challenge that we are facing. Now, how we transform that on an opportunity? And in fact, if you look at the causes of climate change, if we tackle the causes of climate change, if we do mitigation of climate change, what we are doing is nothing else than basic public health. Access to clean water, access to clean air, and by doing so, reducing the 7 million deaths that we are facing every year now caused by exposure to air pollution, promoting a more sustainable way of agricultural production and therefore better nutrition for all of us, better cities, more uh, uh, access to clean and affordable and modern sources of energy. All of that are fantastic opportunities that will bring fantastic health benefits for all of us. Who is at risk? We are all at risk. Obviously, the, the poor population, the, 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 the vulnerable populations living in, in countries where the conditions, the economic conditions are not there, obviously, there will be the most affected. So if we move, if we initiate in a very powerful way a movement to a healthy energy, energy transition, making sure that we decarbonize our society, decarbonize equal multiply health for all of us. We will have a reduction, a very important reduction on the, on the air pollution, and by doing so, our cities as well, by promoting a, 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 an affordable and access to transport, public transport systems that will allow us to have a less sedentary lifestyle, we will have as well better opportunities for our health. So with all of that, keep in mind that you can be an agent of change, we can all contribute to that. Tackling climate change is all about public health, is all about moving into a society on a more sustainable source of energy where the decarbonizing and empowering our society for a healthy development. Thank you.